Welcome, everybody. I'm Neil Cavuto, and this is your world. And it is one thing for a president to go after business. It is quite another for a president to give the usually independent Federal Reserve the business. But today, Donald Trump did just that, telling CNBC's Joe Kernan that when it came to the Fed, he was, well, fed up. Specifically, the president saying he was not happy, bemoaning that every time the economy strengthens, Jerome Powell and company want to raise rates again. Now, normally, presidents grudgingly hint at their disapproval when rates are going up. Rarely do they actually say it. But as Kevin Cork reports, most presidents are not this president. I guess not, right, Kevin? Yeah, no doubt about that. Listen, when he said he was not thrilled. That should tell you two things, Neil. First of all, the president once again is unvarnished in his criticism of all things Washington. And I think this is probably the most unconventional uh, that we have seen with respect to monetary policy. As you point out, I think accurately, listen, you can't take shots at Jerome Powell. You, you should really just stay clear of it. Now, understand this. The second thing it tells you is the pressure will be applied directly from the White House in a very subtle way. Because as you heard the president suggest, listen, he feels like the Fed is undercutting his efforts to grow the economy. He said, look, I don't like all of this work that we're putting into the economy. And then I see the rates going up. As you know, presidents have long declined to comment on the Fed's actions out of respect of the independence of the institution, also to avoid any hint of political influence over the nation's monetary supply. Let me share just a bit of what White House officials are telling us about this today. Lindsay Walters actually was kind enough to send us this statement. She said, of course, the president respects the independence of the Fed. As he has said, he considers Fed, uh, Fed Chair uh, Jerome Powell a very good man. And uh, he went on to add this, and that he is not interfering with Fed policy decisions. Aha, aha. It continues. I'm letting them do what they feel is best. She went on to say the president's views on interest rates are well known. His comments today are a reiteration of those long-held positions and public comments. All right, now I'm going to make this really easy for the folks watching at home. Wink and a nod. Tap the side of the nose. You know exactly what the president is doing here. He is saying without saying, hey, Jerome, back off. Neil? You know, if I dream a genie had done that, <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to go the there. The great Barbara Eden. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. It would have been a disaster. All right, Kevin Cork, thank you very, very much. Well, you know, this is uh, not unusual for a president, as Kevin says, to go after business. Uh, JFK went after the steel industry. We all remember that. President Obama uh, did go after Wall Street oil guys as well. But no president at least has verbally put it out there. Hey, you on the Federal Reserve hiking rates in the middle of this, I'd rather you not, and I'm upset when you do. They think it, believe it. Not a president in the past when this has been happening has welcomed these developments. Melissa Armo is with Stock Swoosh and Fox Business Network's Deirdre Bolton here as well. Melissa, on this, it did it rattly because of the corner of Wall and Broad, stocks were ended up at the lows of the day on the idea that the president is jawboning the Fed and maybe forcing them into a corner. What do you think? Yeah, a lot of times the market does react whenever the Fed chairman speaks or anything about the Fed chairman or anything about a Trump tweet. So I wasn't really surprised. And actually, the market held up pretty well. We've been rallying. We've had a nice rally. We've right. gotten through some of those areas in the S&P. But I think the reason that Trump said this is because a couple days ago on Tuesday, Jerome Powell came out and said he thinks the tariffs from the Beige Book came out are two protectionist views and are going to hurt the economy. And this is tr anything you say against Trump. This was Trump's way of going, mm, and he went right after him then and said something to him. And it was gutsy and it was oh, risky. Wow. So you read and that I, in the, uh, okay, yeah. interesting. Now, of course, the Fed is an uh, you know, autonomous kind of independent being. Of course, the, as you know, Dieter, during the campaign, the, Donald Trump was quite critical of that. Uh, but it is what it is. It's risky taking it on. Where's this all going? Well, I actually like what Melissa said about worried about trade wars, trade tips becoming trade wars. And well, actually, those are, legitimate was, concerns. those are legitimate concerns. And I feel like as far as investors go, that's where people are worried. We even heard from the IMF two days ago saying, listen, if the trade tips become trade wars, there's going to be something like $450 billion subtracted from the global economy by 2020. 
So I do think you're right that perhaps because Chairman Powell did speak about global trade tensions that President Trump answered yeah. in this way, maybe, hey, if you're going to be in my backyard, maybe I'll be in your backyard. Um, but now people are going to read into everything. I, I sometimes think we overread these things, but Melissa, I'm wondering that if the Federal Reserve only hikes rates one more time this year rather than the two that was the consensus and might still be for all I know, uh, people are going to be, oh my gosh, they're doing the president's bidding. When well, in fact, they're, they might have just changed their views. Well, nobody will know, but right now they're scheduled, I guess, they're slated two more times. But right. if they don't, I don't think the markets are going to react negatively. So in that sense, if they did do what Trump said, is it really a negative thing? I mean, look at all the things that's happening right now. Right. We were talking about Trump comes out and says, don't you dare raise drug prices or somebody to that effect. And all of a sudden now, these companies yeah. are not raising drug prices. And look what he's done. He's helped bring money back with the repatriation tax. He's helped companies have so given out bonuses. there's a method to this, and it's working. Yes. One thing that's been said is this is not a very laissez-faire president, that he will use the, the bully pulpit and the White House to change behavior, to change trade policies. It rattles some, but they, I think with a wink and a nod, they hope that he gets what he wants without this coming to a full-blown trade war. At the very least, he will not filter his own opinion out in the way that other presidents have in the past. And I mean, even that reaction to um, the interview that he gave on the, on the other, on another network saying, basically, I'd be saying this if I were a private citizen and, okay, fine, now I'm president, but I still have the same opinion. Um, I do think where the investors tend to be focused, though, are on the rate hikes. To your point, we're never going to know I guess for sure if the Fed changes its trajectory. I have a hard time believing that Fed Chairman Powell would change the trajectory based on just some kind of off-the-cuff comments. But he would be aware Trump's. of the pressure, right? And, yeah. I, and he was telling uh, CNBC's Joe Kernan about this, that he still thinks highly, I think I'm paraphrasing here, of, the, of, he of picked just, a good man. Jerome Powell, yeah. you know. Um, but that, that does continue a pattern. Does that pattern of, of sort of maybe for all the right intentions and maybe getting all the right results. Does that bother you? You mean Trump's pattern of saying things yes. that he thinks and creating then I, I think he's going to continue doing it. He's very hands-on. He's more hands-on than you, any president. Do you like that or dislike it? I do. I do. Because like I do like it because I'm not a political person, okay? I'm just a regular you're person. A I'm looking at these things. you're a person that doesn't like government interference, but you're open. Well, I mean, like I said, I don't really want rates to go up. As a regular person, you, you know, it's a balance. I don't. Even if they're justified going up? Justified slowly, okay. slowly going up. But do you own bank stocks? Because that's yeah. But I mean, you have to look at it. I don't want interest rates to go up. If you want to buy a house, you have credit cards. So, it, like I said, being an individual, then what you do with business, you have to mirror the two. Okay. Because that was really the group that traded down, right? Today it was. The it was. And again, we uh, finished the session lows here. The Dow down about 134 points. But you could time this really second by second because, uh, again, as Melissa indicated, it changes mightily and the, the markets themselves, of course, the, I think that's to be about by 4% this year. The Dow has been relatively flat, but of course, a toward pace all prior to this. So we'll see what happens. Right now is the head of the